Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Two one four, Papa, turn right two four five. Report local address. Hi everyone, I'm DJ's Aviation and welcome to this video. Over the next few days you're going to probably be seeing a few videos on engines and I don't usually cover these but seeming my name holds aviation, this is my best attempt at covering multiple aspects of the industry so there's lots of variety on the channel for all different people. The engine that has taken up the spotlight for the past few months has been the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000s on the 787s, but they aren't the only ones that are playing up. In fact, Pratt & Whitney have also been encountering a number of engine troubles on the A320s. Budget carriers Indigo and Go Air have granted a combined 11 A320neo aircraft, which are powered by the PW1100 engines. The makeup of these aircraft groundings are as follows. 8 for Indigo, and a further 3 for Go Air. This decision was made after an Indigo flight had a mid-air engine failure just yesterday. The aircraft had to make an emergency landing and had 186 passengers on board, so thankfully it did land safely. Not only is this a concern for passengers and Pratt and & Whitney, but it's also going to be a huge impact for budget carriers like Indigo and Go Air, as these airlines rely on this particular aircraft to transport their passengers around. Indigo have been heavily impacted by the engine issues. They are actually calculated as an airline to fly 4 of every 10 Indians, which is an insane amount and means that they have a large market share, in fact the largest of all airlines within India. So far the carrier has had to replace the engines on 32 of its A320neo aircraft at least 69 times in just over a year. Back in February, the European Aviation Safety Agency had issued an emergency airworthiness directive for the A320neo planes fitted with these PW1100 engines. They warned that the engines may shut down during flight and rejected takeoff. And this is why after the incident that Indigo had, they are taking no chances and are playing the safe option. That's all the news for today, I'll be sure to keep you updated if any more aircraft are grounded, but I'd like to take the time now to thank you very much for watching another one of my videos, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace. Oh, well,